Hi, I'm John Gann, VP of Engineering at Chesapeake Technology. Welcome to this week's session in the Did You Know series about SonarWiz. In the first quarter of 2016, we've revamped all of the SonarWiz components to 64-bit multi-threaded applications, something that was long overdue. As part of that effort, we've made some gains in our 3D visualization tools to provide more than just a pretty picture. You may know that in 64-bit SonarWiz 3D Viewer, you've got the ability to display 3D point clouds such as this digitized acoustic basement over some spark or sub-bottom lines, under a Resan 7111 backscatter mosaic, and finally a 3D depth surface, all processed and exported from SonarWiz. We love our 3D Viewer, but how do you share this cool 3D-ness with others? In SonarWiz, we give you three options. First, you can create your own video fly-through by recording a movie file. You're the director, and you control exactly what your end user sees. If you want to allow the user to explore anything in your scene, try the WebGL or 3D PDF export options, which provide the end user the ability to explore your scene in their web browser or Adobe Acrobat Reader. Let's have a look at these outputs. First up is the video file I created in Windows WMV format. I'm using the built-in Windows 10 Movie Viewer to watch this recorded video. In this technique, the user sees only what you want them to see. Next, we'll have a look at the WebGL output. WebGL, or Web Graphics Library, is a JavaScript API for rendering interactive 3D computer graphics with any compatible web browser without the use of plugins. In this case, I'm interacting with the scene using the Chrome browser, but WebGL is also supported in the Microsoft Edge browser too. In the WebGL output, the user has almost the same control they would find in this SonarWiz 3D viewer. Finally, SonarWiz can export to a 3D PDF file. All the end user needs is the free Adobe Acrobat Reader and they can happily explore the 3D scene in their PDF file. SonarWiz even adds some vertical scaling buttons to enhance the viewing experience. Well, there you have it, the SonarWiz 3D hat trick. Thanks so much for watching this video. If you'd like to learn more, follow our YouTube channel to see more feature spotlights like this one, or join our next training session at the University of Washington in Seattle, December 2016. You can learn more about that session at chesapeaketech.com.